Hi again, everyone. It's me back with another power drill. This one's a tough one, but I think you're all going to really like it. You may have started to see this over our Instagram page, but I think it's quickly becoming a student favorite and it really gets that push off leg working. If any of you have been working out with a trainer or maybe you've been to physical therapy in the past, you may have heard of a single leg deadlift. Okay? If you know what a regular deadlift is, if you're holding a barbell, you're going to bend down from the waist and come up squeezing your glutes together. A single leg deadlift is similar, except you're doing it on one leg and coming up. This was kind of the inspiration for this drill, and it's the more advanced version of our power drive drill. If you remember, our power drive drill is where you put the ball on the ground and you squat down to pick it up, push off, and pitch. So I'm going to show you what this drill looks like, and again, it really gets that drive through leg working, that push off leg. So we're going to be working the right leg for righties, the left leg for lefties. I'm going to put the ball on the ground just like I did for our power drive drills. I'm going to set up on the rubber as if I were going to pitch, okay? Now, the key here is to do this very, very slowly so that you really feel your core, your hips, and your glutes working. We also want to focus on keeping our body square to the catcher. So if you see girls doing this and they're leaning or tilting, they're not doing it correctly. They're not engaging the correct muscles. So I'm going to show you what this looks like and then at the end I'm going to have one of my students show you what the full drill looks like. So we're going to set up on the rubber, put the ball down in a position where when you pick it up you have the correct grip. Okay? So we're going to start here. We're going to go up on one leg. And notice that my leg does not have to be straight back. We can have it bent and going just a little bit behind the body. Okay? Very slowly. We're going to go down. Keeping the knee over the toes. We're not letting our knee wobble or go back and forth. Again, we're not using the correct muscles then. Very slowly. Very slowly engaging the core. And from here, we're pushing off and pitching. Again, I just had a baby and I'm very weak. So if this does not look perfect, I apologize. That's why I'm going to have one of my students demonstrate it for you at the end. I'm going to show you once more, okay? Putting that ball on the ground. And the other thing you want to make sure is that your body is kind of in a straight line. So what we don't want and what some, especially younger students are going to want to do, is they're just going to stick their leg out and then want to bend over with their upper body. Again, not using the correct muscles for the push off the rubber then. We really want to make sure our body stays in kind of a straight line so that we're engaging the core and the hips and using those really good explosive pitching muscles. Put that ball down on the ground. Here I go. <laughs> Slow. Keeping that body in a straight line. Push off and pitch. Okay? This is a tough drill. I do not recommend this drill for beginners or even intermediate students. This is an advanced drill for girls who really have a good grip on fastball mechanics and really want to start working their push off leg to get a better push and glide off the rubber to increase power. I hope you liked watching this drill. Again, I apologize for not being able to do it perfectly, but I'm going to have one of my students show it to you, and I'll talk to you next time.